welcome back to Zagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be doing a really exciting video, at least for me. I've been, you know, really waiting for this line to finally launch in Canada. It is the Chanel La Beige collection for 20, summer 2020. I just love this collection. Every single year, I try to get a few pieces that interest me because it just, to me, evokes such a beautiful, natural, summery sort of feel and vibe. Nothing too forced, nothing too glam, but just a nice enhanced look. I just, I love these collections each year. So this year I grabbed two of the powders, one in more of the bronzy shade, the other one's a little bit more of a highlight shade and then I grabbed the drops the kind of luminizing drops in the bronzy shade sunkissed so before we get into the demo and the review I definitely invite you to subscribe to my channel um, as well as if you want to be notified when I upload videos definitely ring that notification bell as well and then I'm also on Instagram I post daily it's really really fun lots of beauty content um, on there as well and that's the same same name at Sagami Beauty okay you guys that's it for the intro let's get straight into the swatches the demo and the review. So we're going to start off with the powders. These are going to be the Healthy Glow Illuminating Powders. One is in sand, one is in sunset. Beautiful the beige packaging. It's always that, of course, beige and black versus the white and black. And even the packaging alone just kind of makes it feel so summery and natural as if you're like in the south of France or something. The compact this time around has a rope detail on it. The double C's have that nautical rope detail so you open it up and you have the typical brush in there which i don't usually use but it is quite soft quite a pretty brush if you're going to be just on the go you can definitely use it and then we have the powder there and again this is going to have that rope detail on it so pretty this is the bronzy shade and then i also got it in the sand which i wasn't going to but you're not really allowed to swatch yet in store, which is a little bit annoying, not going to lie. But the sales associate was able to just swatch it on her hand. So that gave me still an idea. And just based on that, I really, really liked it. And that is, again, in sand, which is more of the light color. The third product I got were the Illuminating Drops, so Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. It came in a pearly color, and then it came in the bronzy color. So... Beautiful packaging, glass bottle. It has the double C's in beige. And then of course it has a pump. I think this is supposed to replace the liquid highlighter that was in that round container with the little hole opening at the top. That one seemed a little bit messy. I never used it. I did feel that it was quite shimmery. And when the associate swatched this product on her hand, this seems a little bit more sheeny. So I'm going to show you the swatches now. I'll just put them on the screen. We have the powder in sand, then we have the powder in the bronzy shade, which is sunset, and then the third product swatch is going to be the illuminating drops in sunkissed. And again, when I move my hand, you'll see it's quite a sheeny glow, not so much glitter. I do feel that when she swatched it, it stayed sheeny. I know the rosy drops were really, really popular, and I have them. I don't reach for them. I find they go on slightly sheeny, but then they sort of dry down and just leave you with a sort of a sparkly effect. The sheen is sort of lost on those, but I have high hopes that the sheen stays intact for this one because it did in the swatch. So I do have my base down. I don't have any blush and I don't have any of the bronzer products. So what I'm going to do first is put on a little layer of this. I'm not going to use this as a highlighter. I think this would be beautiful on darker skin tones as a highlighter. For today, I'm just sort of going to lightly put it on the high points of my face just before I put the bronzer powder on top. And we'll see how that goes. So it has that pump. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to sort of rub it in just to kind of give it more of a surface area before I pick it up on a brush. So just a little stipple brush like that. I'm gonna dab some product on. We'll try this method first. Oh, and I have my bangs. Oh, I should have known. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that mirror there. It does have that beautiful, it's the same smell as that Hydra Beauty skincare line. So it's slightly floral, slightly fruity. Oh, I really like that. So very sheer, very sheeny. It just kind of has that slightly bronzy effect. 
So I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And I think I can be a little bit more generous with it. I'm actually going to put a headband on for this, you guys. One second. Okay, that's better. Who am I kidding? I can't do makeup with my hair in my face. If maybe if I had like gadget arms and I could have like one hand holding the mirror, the other hand doing this, the other hand holding my hair back, and then I don't know, like if I had literally three or four arms, but with two arms, I need the help of a hairband. Holy cow, that's glowy. You guys, you do not have to be scared of this going on too dark or streaky. Wow, it just gave me a sheeny, bronzy effect and it blended in so easily. I don't have to worry about it not blending in on top of the foundation, which was powdered. Okay, this is so beautiful. I probably could do more, but for now I think that's good. It's giving me quite a bit of glow. Okay, I'm going to put on some blush next. I'm going to use an Estee Lauder blush. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of a coral blush. Not really any sheeny or shimmery effect. And again, I usually do something with a little bit more of a glow, but I want to see how these products perform in terms of glow. So I don't want anything to interfere with that look. This happens to be the Pure Color Blush in Wild Sunset. A little bit on the nose, just to give it that sunburnt effect. I usually tend to go crazy with my blush, and I like that. But for today, I just wanted to keep it, again, natural. Just as if I'm, you know, somewhere on the ocean or at sea, and I'm getting a little bit of a flush. And then I still have maybe a tan effect from previous days that I'm on the sea. So... <laughs> Again, we're daydreaming here. Okay, next product is going to be the bronzer. It's still an illuminating product, but I'm gonna treat it as a bronzer, and that's in Sunset. I'm gonna try a little bit more of a natural haired bristle brush. It's going on really nicely, but again, it's not um, overly powdery or anything, which is really good. This has a different scent than the illuminating drops. This is more of that typical Le Beige scent. Slightly more floral and a little bit on the sweet side, but nothing crazy. Don't mind my bandage there. I just had a, I'm doing a vlog on this, but I just had a mole removed just under my ear there today or this morning. So that's why that's there, but it doesn't actually hurt. She did such a good job and it feels totally fine, which is good. I'll just have to make sure I use just something to prevent scarring. I'll show you guys my tricks for that too. So this bronzer is so pretty. And again, you don't have to be very delicate with it. You're getting a decent amount of product, but you don't have to worry about being too careful. The weight for this collection was so worth it. This tone is just beautiful. It's not too warm tone, like it's not too orangey. It's not yellow, which is good because I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in medium was too yellow for me. And again, it's sheer enough that you can just keep sort of applying. Okay, last but not least, we have the illuminating powder in sand. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna probably use a smaller brush just to use it as almost a highlighter. We'll see how it goes. So I don't think it's that crazy of a highlighter, obviously. I think I want to use it actually as a all over illuminating blending powder. I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna grab a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna put this all over the brush. Again, it's not going on to the brush too heavy. So I can probably just kind of put it all over. Yeah, I like it better as an all over powder. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be, but I just think all over it gives you that glossy effect. My skin just looks very glowy, very healthy. Wow, I love it. I love it. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of a lip. I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And then this is an oldie but a goodie. It is the Chanel Rouge Coco in Tehran. And it's just a very peachy color. I believe they still have this. This is the older formula of Rouge Coco. And they reformulated this quite a few years ago now. And I believe it's this color is still available. If it's not, I'm sorry, you guys. I've been on a lip liner kick. I As soon as I rediscovered the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I've been loving it.
I love dabbing on lipstick. I feel like it just kind of gets the lipstick into all the little crevices of your lips. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Can I take my hair down and show you guys the whole look? Okay, hair is down and this is the final look. I think it turned out so pretty. So natural. So, final thoughts. I love this collection. I honestly, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. And again, I've been waiting so many months for this collection to come out and I've been hyping it up for myself and it is so beautiful. I am so impressed. The two products that stand out for me though are going to be the illuminating powder in Sunset, the bronzy color. I feel like this is just a beautiful bronze. It's such a beautiful warm but not orange and not yellow toned bronzer. It has enough neutrality in it that still makes it so beautifully natural looking on the skin. It has a slight sheerness to it, a slight illuminating effect to it absolutely beautiful it's not overly pigmented so you can actually build it up quite nicely and I prefer that in a bronzer I don't want it to be too pigmented at once because then you start getting patches potentially and it's just harder to apply and it's a little more tricky and I don't like stuff that's tricky I want it to be easy and the product though that really really stands out is going to be the Le Beige illuminating um, fluid this is just so beautiful I think I want the other color now the lighter shade in this because it goes on so smooth, it's so sheeny, it just looks like your skin is just glowing on its own. It doesn't look like it's makeup on the skin. And I thought the bronzy color was going to be a little bit too dark, but it's not. It has this high, slight highlighting effect. It's not going to be a highlighter on my skin tone. It will be a highlighter on a deeper skin tone. On my skin tone, it's just sort of a sheeny effect, liquid bronze effect, um, if you will. And I really, really love this. I'm going to actually try mixing it in with my foundation or my sunscreen as a tinted moisturizer effect. We'll see if that works. I can always um, get back to you guys on that. I love it. I think this collection is so beautiful. The packaging, it is scented, which I like. I love, again, products that are scented and they are all scented, so definitely keep that in mind. But, oh my gosh, it's, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so excited about these products. Let me know if you've tried anything from this year's Le Beige collection. And yeah, let me know, because there's an eyeshadow palette I haven't tried. Let me know if maybe that's something I should try. I didn't feel like the urge to get that one in particular, but I still think I'm gonna be getting the lighter illuminating drops just based on the formula of it. I think it's just so beautiful. And if there's one product that I would recommend out of all three of them, it would be the illuminating drops, 100%. So, so pretty. Thanks again for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. All the best to you guys. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. de l'hôpital. Se déchirer une cuisse est une consécration. Du temps de la syphilis, on avait de la distinction. Oh mon petit.